guys, here on Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live. Thanks for being here with me. You can also check me out on Instagram, which is Sugar Pearls underscore online. You can also go to my website at www.sugarpearlsonline.com or YouTube, which is Sugar Pearls. That's S-U-G-A-R. P-E-A-R-L apostrophe S. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so I've got my water um, boiling here. It's, it's doing all right. It's doing all right. What I want to do now is, um, so I made a little bit of dough. A little pasta dough. Hey, Phyllis. Hey, Rhonda. <laughs> Hi, Calvin. Oh, my gosh. Friends, family, childhood, friend, man, y'all, come on, this is awesome. So I um, cleaned my surface off earlier, and I'm going to roll out my dough as flat as I can get it. And I'm going to make some pasta. Yes, honey, you didn't know I was Italian. Well, I hope it comes out right. I really do. It's a lot of work to get this thing done. <laughs> okay, I've got people calling me during the show. Y'all can't see me, right? Right? Hey. Hey, Linda. I can see y'all. I don't know why people are asking me if I'm on. I'm on. <laughs> yes. Hello, Phyllis. Thank you. Ease my mind. Whoever ain't here, I guess they'll get it in a little bit. So all I'm doing is rolling out my pasta dough. And the only thing I did for my pasta dough was a little, um, let me get a paper towel. I'm going to end up getting some flour in my eyeshadow. <laughs> I still wanted to put my drag on for you, though. Yeah, even though we're, you know, we're flying solo. We're each other's wingmen tonight. <laughs> um, still, I had, I had to zhuzh up a little bit, okay? <laughs> hey, hey. All right, so all I'm doing now is rolling out my pasta dough. I made that with plain flour two eggs, and what else did I use? Okay, look, look up um, pasta, how to make homemade pasta. You'll find it. And all I want to do now is just roll it out as flat as I can because I'm going to cut it and put it in my water. Now, the can you sing us a little love song? What you chose? You better shut your mouth. No. <laughs> no, I have no voice for that. <laughs> but when you press that um that dough out, see you can throw me off my game. <laughs> press that dough out, you're gonna get a really nice, nice pasta. We're gonna do like Linguini. Okay. All right. So this is my pasta dough that I made homemade from scratch. It's super easy. All it is is flour. Uh, turn this back up. Uh, plain flour that is all purpose and a couple of eggs. And what else did I use? I keep forgetting that third ingredient. Any who, any who. So now I'm just going to fold the pasta and then I'm going to start to cut it. So I'm just folding it back, forth, back, forth, uh, accordion style. Hey Lynn, hey Rose, cousin, hey Kiana, you're pretty still. Oh my gosh. So I rolled the, ooh, 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 ooh. here we go. So you want to roll your pasta back and forth, back and forth, like an accordion, like so. And then you're just going to uh, take a really sharp blade and just start to make some slices. 
I'm gonna do my not too too thin. <laughs> And when you do that, you can, um, see, this is going to be really enough pasta. Um, it, it really could be enough pasta for two. Lord knows I don't need it. Okay. And what you've got now are these beautiful strips. Let's hope they come out right once I put them in the water. If they don't, then I'm going to boil some pasta that I got hidden away. So, but look at that. See that? Beautiful. Beautiful strips of pasta. Just made. So once I get that water up to a boil, we're going to drop our pasta in there. And then we're going to get started on the lamb steaks. Okay, because the lamb steaks need to rest before I put the scallops on. Scallops are only going to take maybe three minutes. The lamb chops take about five to six, like three minutes on each side. Hey, D. <laughs> hey, Michael. <laughs> Thank you. I'm hoping the pasta comes out just right. So... I've, I've just been showing the friends and family that I made pasta. Oh, fingers crossed for me. Fingers crossed. Okay. <laughs> this is a wonderful, wonderful little dinner. Um, it really is pretty easy. So I don't want you to be intimidated because uh, I'm using something that maybe you don't eat all the time. I don't eat lamb all the time, but I do like a little good old lamb chop, honey. And these lamb steaks um, were on sale today. Now, the lamb chops were a little more expensive, so I was like, mm, I still want lamb because it's a little lighter and a little more delicate. So what can I get? And I found these, but look at these little T-bone lamb steaks. Yeah. So we're gonna cook that. All I did was season it with some salt, pepper, garlic powder, and some of our aromatic oil that we made the other week. Okay. So that's gonna go on the griddle in a minute. We're going to do some diced baby potatoes, and we're also going to do some seared scallops. And with the scallops, I think I'm going to do just like a white wine sauce. I'm, I'm going to show you how to do that. It ain't going to be a thick sauce. Hey, Ladidra! <laughs> it's not going to be a thick sauce, um, but it does have a lot of red wine. Oh, white wine, honey. Mm-hmm. So we're going to do a little white wine, a little Pinot Grigio, and our scallops tonight. Oh, fingers crossed that the pasta turns out okay in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Okay. Oh, Lord, I'm scared to put it in there. I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm just terrified. What I, what I think I am going to do, I've got my oven hot, and uh, we're having broccoli tonight. Hello, if you're just joining us, it's, it's Valentine's, and a little cherub named Cupid is taking you for a ride. Yeah, trying to get all your money, trying to make you think, don't nobody love you, don't nobody want you. I want you. I love you. I'm glad you're here with me. You don't need some uh, fat white baby telling you otherwise. No, you don't. <laughs> you don't need that at all. So I'm going to just put my aromatic oil on this broccoli. I'm going to add some salt. I'm going to just empty that out, boo. Because I can, I can make a new... What did I tell you? I've been using the mess out of that oil. Oh my goodness. It's been awesome. A little garlic powder. 
And these, uh, the broccoli is going in the oven while I get up the courage to put my pasta. in the water a little pink salt boom shakalaka oven you go okay because that that can go a little bit you know uh broccoli tends to eh, and I, I guess it depends on the texture that you like it i don't like mine soggy like mushy uh, i want a little bite to it so it ain't gonna be in there forever but oh lord i'm stalling okay there is my hot pot Boom. Boom. Oh my gosh. I'm I'm throwing pasta in the that I made in the pot. I'm I just did it. I, I threw it in there. Nothing can be done about it now. Okay. Uh oh. I think I may have really made pasta. Okay, I'm gonna clean off uh, my surface with this flour, get rid of that. And then, we can get started on some other things. All right, oh, let's take a look. These little pasta ribbons, I just made pasta. <laughs> I used all-purpose flour, salt, and two eggs, and that's it. And just mix it in, and then kneaded the dough, like a lot, <laughs> and then rolled it out to thin enough to be pasta rings and sliced. And it looks like your girl... I amaze me too. All right. So I'm going to put that there. And now I'm going to move. When this gets warm, I'll move this over to the other eye because I want to um, start to sear my lamb steaks. Yes. Welcome everybody. What would you like? A table for one, two, four? I just happen to have a spot over here by the window. Come join me. It's Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live and I'm your host Carla Renee. <laughs> we are doing uh, a little Valentine's supper with some T-bone lamb steaks. A little bit of uh, uh, pasta and in that pasta you're going to have uh, just a rainbow of vegetables and some scallops some sea scallops that we're going to sear okay. but before I can sear that I first need to make sure here we go and I get all my accoutrement and put that over there. And I'll bring you here, boo. I'm in love with my little griddle. I've been using the heck out of a chair. This this griddle is everything. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Hey, Tina. Hey, Sharita. Hey, Sharice. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much. Yes. Hi, Marnell. Hi, Walitha. We're having our Valentine's supper tonight. Hi, Tammy. And I thank you for joining me. We're going to do some, get this on my plastic, some T-bone lamb steaks. And we've got some um, sea scallops. 
Yeah, so I made the mistake of asking my friends on Facebook, what should I cook? What should I cook? And can you believe these folks come out? Steak and lobster. Steak and lobster. Now, I love a good old steak and lobster, honey, but ain't nobody paying me to do these uh, videos. That's... Yes, y'all. I'm not taking you nowhere. <laughs> nowhere! We gonna do some T-bone lamb steaks. Some potatoes and broccoli and some scallop linguine. I made the linguine myself. All right. So for the lamb steaks, one thing about this, uh, you do not want to overcook your lamb. Okay. Two minutes on each side. Look at the marbling in this. You see the fat. Look at that. And then you've got a nice piece of fat on the outside. We're going to sear that as well okay but first we're gonna do the uh we're gonna do both sides seared about two minutes each and then we'll sear the uh, little butt here all right boom your pot yes extremely hot Voila. Okay. Now let's see how this pasta is coming. I, I want to make sure it's al dente. I don't want it overdone, underdone. I don't want it to taste gummy. So I got to make sure it's right. Pasta. Yes, honey. And you could do it too. Look at that. Hey, Tara. Hey, Pam. For the lamb steaks. Two minutes on each side. So amazing. All right, I'm gonna move the uh, lamb steaks to the back. The lamb steaks, they can still go about um, another minute and a half on that, on the opposite side now. I got a nice little some stripes on one side and I'm trying to do the same for this one. Hey, hey lady, <laughs> Pamela Gordon. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to let that cook down while I start my potatoes and then we're going to end with the scallops in the white wine sauce. Yes. When I tell you, I treat my people right on Valentine's. I do.
Oh, y'all thought I was going to be all slack and whatnot because it's Valentine's. Right, yeah, because I, cause I ain't got no date or something. You think I'm going to just like cheat you on the recipes? Nah, boo. You, you getting it good here tonight. I am giving you the best that I've got. Baby. Come on, Anita. Come on. Hey, Rochella. It is all love here tonight, baby. All love. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is our, this is starting to smoke. So it's getting real hot. While the lamb chops have settled down a little bit because they will make it a whole lot of noise. And I know it's hard for you to hear me talking while that's going. All right. So for my potatoes, my pot, whatever pan you like fried in needs to be super duper hot. I'm going to put my vegetables in first. Then I'll toss my potatoes in and a sprig of rosemary. Yes, hello. Hello, Naya. Hello, Auntie. Hello, Sister Cheryl. All right. So let's get our wok back on there. Do I have enough olive oil? There is no olive oil in that. Okay. Let's see. Oh, here we go. I'll use kind of a light olive oil because you know the EVOO really smokes. So if you're gonna be doing something kind of high and save the EVOO for your salad. Speaking of salad, we would have had another course, but I ate my salad already and it was so darn good. I thought about doing another, but that would just be gluttony. So, I'm going to leave it alone. All right. So, for my vegetables, this is for the potatoes. For the potatoes, we've got, ooh, that's smoking. We've got red sweet onions. We've got. Ginger that I want to slice a little bit more. Now, that's the stuff your potatoes are going to go in, okay? Your potatoes are going in that. So, you really want to take that fire up as high as possible, okay? Um, you can add more salt if you want. When I cut these vegetables, I added salt because I wanted to draw some of the moisture out. So, I added salt, a little pepper, and really, I don't want to do too much more to it. Okay, now, hello, hello, so I've got some ginger, now the ginger is not going in here for my potatoes, I'm going to put that in my, um, my scallops when I get ready to do my white wine sauce, oh yeah, yes, it's gonna be awesome remember you are watching sugar pearl studio kitchen live here on facebook at carla renee that's c-a-r-l-a-r-e-n-e-a -E -E -E. you can also check out my youtube page 
I always post these videos that I do uh, on YouTube. Usually it's a little more produced, so, you know, you don't get all of the bumps and coils. <laughs> okay, see what's happening? Add your taters. These are just some little baby diced potatoes. Add them on in there. Okay. Now I want that to go super high. Super duper. And I'll save that ginger for my scallops when I get ready. I'm going to do the scallops in the same pot. But I wanted the scallops to have their own flavor, which is why I'm doing them last. I don't want the mingling of the flavors in anybody's mouth. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm going to strain off these, um, strain the water off my homemade pasta. Yeah, y'all. Homemade, I said. All right, I'm still here. I was just surprised, like looking at my um my pasta to see how how decent it is. I wouldn't say it's the best pasta ever, but I did all right. Watch that for me. Mm -hmm. Just keep on watching it for me. Because, honey, when I tell you it's some kind of good, good. Rosemary. Just a couple of sprigs right in there. Yep. Sure enough, little garlic, little more salt. Don't spend a lot of time um, flipping it too much. Kind of let it fry, then flip it. that are happening in here yes now I'm gonna have to teach you how to make the pasta next time um but I was scared it wasn't gonna come out right so I made it ahead of time and let me show you uh -oh. let me show you what I came up with so this is my homemade pasta I know perfectly al dente little um linguine Al dente to the D. All right. Now, while the potatoes are taking their last go round, I'm going to season up these base scallops with just a little bit of salt, pepper, and a little, 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 little bit of cornstarch slurry, okay? Take your last hurrah. My Valentine's dates. You guys are amazing. Thank you. 
Thanks for being here with me on Sugar Pro Studio Kitchen Live. Salt, pepper, as promised. And a little Old Bay. I believe in seasoning all my ingredients, all my food. You don't have to over season it. Okay? Those are your scallops. Oh, that's pretty. Yes. All right. This is what we made of the taters. Taters. Meet my friends. Hello, friends. How are you? Don't you? Y'all could eat these taters in the morning time with your eggs. You can eat this if, instead of meat if you want to. Look at these taters and the beautiful colors they're in. This is not a game. All right. Put your... I'm putting my taters inside my... Uh, now I'm about to do scallops in here okay the lamb steaks I already turned those off I, you didn't see me yet did you I know because I'm good yes I turned those off many minutes ago they're just resting so the juices can redistribute throughout we're going to have delicious tender Tender, my friend. Now, I want to open up this bottle of Pinot Grigio because the, I'm going to make a little white wine drizzle for this. Okay? Okay. You can't tell me I had the best Valentine's Day you had all year. All year. Yeah. Considering it's the only Valentine's we've had this year, I'm I'm the best. I hope. All right. Open up this white wine. I um. There we go. Boom. Hey, Kendra. I don't drink a lot of red uh, white wine because it gives me heartburn. Hi, Walitha. <laughs> hey, Ms. Durant. Hey, Dion. Welcome, y'all. Yes, it's our Valentine's dinner tonight. We are making lamb uh, T-bone steaks and some scallops in a white wine sauce, uh, homemade pasta. I made pasta, for real, like linguine. I did that. And um, we've got some broccoli roasting in the oven. This is so awesome. I feel so bougie. Oh, I love it. So um, what I'm doing now is getting a little bit of... I got to make me some more aromatic oil. But until such a time, that's for my scallops. Gonna pull some on there for my homies. Yes. Let that work. And our scallops are gonna go inside there. Now with your scallops, you only wanna do about one or two minutes per side. Same as with the lamb steaks. Don't overdo it. Oh. Uh, Generally, if you go to a restaurant and they have lamb steaks or lamb chops, they're going to do it medium rare. Now, you may be that person in the restaurant who asked for it well done. And then I got to look at you like, <sighs> poor sinner. Well done. Never. Medium rare. Medium rare. Okay, so let's get the, um, let's get our scallops on. Honey, I love a good old fancy meal. 
I do. I love a good home cooked meal too. Like a home down home meal, which is why I made that meatloaf this week. I can't eat like that all the time. So every now and then. So right now I've got let me show. Ooh. That was so impolite, but let me just show you what's happening with the um hang on. My lamb steaks. Okay. So everything is almost done now. All I want to do with these lamb steaks is turn it up. I want to. I want to get a little more sear going. Rare, rare. Ooh, turn over. Mm. Ow. Oh my gosh. I didn't have my pot all the way up. No, no. No, 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 no. There we go. Yeah, baby. Get them all the way up. I know. I'm, I'm still taking it all the way up. I'm gonna give my um my lamb sticks a couple more minutes while this is finishing. And we're gonna be ready to eat. And in a matter of minutes. Ow. Ooh, I know. I know. Now, I'm going to turn you away from the fire a little bit because it, it tends to get rather loud. Did you see when the fire came up, child? Yes. Hot as a mug. So there wasn't just me trying to be cute and fancy. That was me trying to burn some of the alcohol off. So even though I want a, a white wine sauce, a very light sauce, I still don't want it to taste like wine so much. So... So now I've got that. My scallops and some basil in a very light white wine sauce. Mm -hmm. Child, we're about ready to eat. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm I'm really proud of this meal. So I'm going to throw a little bit of um, homemade pasta. I did that, y'all. I made that out of flour, um, sugar, and eggs. Some little egg noodles.
take that off because I want the rest. Voila, that is it. <laughs> so I'm gonna plate this. Um, I'm gonna let that those lamb steaks rest for just a few minutes. Then I'll get everything plated up. This is my scallop linguine, homemade linguine pasta that I made. This is it. Well, uh, don't worry, I'm going to, as a matter of fact, let me take my broccoli out now so I don't overdo it. Sir. It is done. It is done. Woo! <laughs> it, it brings me joy. It brings me absolute unbridled joy to be in here cooking with you every Friday night and I thank the stars above that you're willing just to click and and see what this little country girl is doing live on Friday nights at seven o'clock Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen live the website is www.sugarpearlsonline.com now um this year there are going to be some changes i believe it i receive it i know it's coming um not necessarily that i won't be doing the show anymore i hope i continue to do the show but i'm also hoping to expand my business by offering you some of these delicious menus that i prepare um, on a more personal basis so you know if you're looking at doing you know a, a men's group or women's group just a bunch of girlfriends or a small family group like I hope that you'll consider uh, what Sugar Pearls is doing to be right up your alley yes so that's coming it's coming so the lamb steaks are resting and you'll know that it's resting because you'll see the juice and you know maybe it'll even a little blood because it's supposed to be medium rare which these are medium rare look at these beautiful lamb steaks and see that crust on there that I got I got potatoes, I got scallop linguine, and a white wine sauce. The only thing I'm missing in that sauce is a little bit of I needed a little lime juice, but I ain't got no more limes. Let me hit it with a little bit of lime. Just a little bit of boop, boop, boom. I like French lime, but I ain't got no more. So you improvise. I'm gonna keep the brightness of this dish going. All right, it's plating time. Are you ready? Yes, plating. All right. So, of course, I've got my big uh, ivory plates that I love. My mom picked these out for me years ago, back when I was living in Virginia, Jeff. And woo, seems like I'm I'm supposed to be doing something else. All right, we're just plating. Don't worry, I'm not hiding nothing. I'm just trying to gather a few of the ingredients that are gonna go on the plates. Okay, okay. We got our broccoli. And I ain't going to be greedy. I'm going to just do one lamb steak. One lamb steak. Mm -hmm. Let me rinse that off. I'm about to dip that in that. Oh. 
that. Oh my gosh. That looks so freaking good. Oh my lord. Okay, now some taters and, and veggies that are in those taters. I shouldn't have put those side by side. But you know what? It's, it's going to get eaten. Wish I had something kind of orange. I probably should have done those carrots like I did last week. Anyway. That is it. It's, it's our Valentine's meal, baby. And thank you for being my Valentine. Did I say Valentine or Valentine? Whatever I said. Thank you. So we've got our lamb steak, bone in, T-bone, homemade linguine, homemade, yes, with uh, a scallop linguine, with a little bit of olive oil, garlic, ginger, lime juice. We've got some diced potatoes with some um, various colors of peppers, red and sweet onion, and then you've got your um, your broccoli. That that's dinner, boo. Yes, cause I love. Cause I love you. Oh, y'all thought I was gonna come up in here raggedy cause it's Valentine's. And oh, she ain't gonna be doing much of nothing. She just, you know, no. I'ma I'm a give you my best like any other Friday night. All right. Let's get ready to eat this masterpiece. So, I know, I'm rearranging my kitchen so that I can sit right here in front of you while I taste and see. That's okay, you're going to watch the replay, Teresa. I'll have it on sometime soon. Okay, so uh, for those of you that are just joining us, Sugar Pearls Studio Kitchen Live, we've got our lamb steak. Uh... A little T-bone lamb steak. Some homemade linguine. Yes, I made that. Scallop linguine. In the scallops, you've got some garlic, ginger, um, all kinds of stuff. White wine. In a white wine uh, cream sauce. Then you've got your diced baby potatoes. This isn't my best plating, but you know what? It, it'll work. It'll work. Let me... Let me just eat it. Just eat it. I know it's a paring knife, but we I need to show you what. And this is why you want a medium rare steak, lamb or beef, honey. Look at that. I, I know it's, it might be a little hard to see, but what you do know is it ain't dry. Don't stop ordering steaks well done. Medium rare for me. Mm -mm. No one could have taken me out for a meal like this. <laughs> I made homemade pasta. 
try these scallops. Mmm. Perfect. Scallops. Don't go over two minutes on each side. Seasoned perfectly. Nothing on this plate is over seasoned. It's delicious. Only thing I'm missing is a little piece of um red velvet cupcake chow. With some cream cheese to icing. And a ooey gooey melted chocolate center. <laughs> mm. That lamb steak. You can cook a lamb steak. You can. Two minutes on each side. Season it, leave it alone. Quit flipping it back and forth. Flip one time. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. Y'all. I love food. I love cooking. I love that you're here with me tonight. Thank you. No, really. Thank you. You don't have to be here tonight? Of all nights? Just want you to know I appreciate it. From my kitchen to yours, I'm wishing you a very happy Valentine's Day, if that's your shtick. Hey, my thing is, show love every day of the year. Of the year. Um, say what needs to be said. Do what needs to be done. Love you enough to take a risk and fall in love. Even if it's only with yourself. Because how you going to know how to love somebody else if you don't love yourself? Right? Yeah. So, uh, doing this show is not only therapy, but it's me taking a risk. Taking a leap. Saying, I love me enough to try. So, here I am. Thank you so much for letting me cook, letting me be silly, and just have this time. That's all I want to say. I want to get all mushy and whatnot. Until next time, keep cooking, try something new, try this. Yes, you can do it. Remember, I love you, and I hope you love me back.